Hello viewers. In this video, we will be looking at the December 2020 science paper 2, question B6. Question B6 reads, study the flow diagram below and answer questions that follow. Study the flow diagram below and answer questions that follow. And in our flow diagram here, we are given solid P. And when solid P is heated, it produces gas Q. Now, when gas Q is passed over damp red litmus paper, it turns damp red litmus paper blue. Another gas, gas R, is produced. On the other hand, when solid P is dissolved in water, it produces solution T. Now, this solution T, when reacted with sodium hydroxide, solution T produces solution U plus water plus gas Q. So we can see that in these two uh, processes, the same gas is produced. So we can actually link, we can actually link, we can actually link these two processes. We can actually link these two to be one. So this is one and the same thing. Then we proceed. Again, on the other hand, solution T, when solution T is reacted with aqueous silver nitrate, solution W is formed plus a white precipitate. Uh, let us look at the questions that follow. A is saying identify substances P, Q, and W. P, Q, and W. Let us just mark this. So they are saying we are supposed to identify P, Q, and W. So we have P, Q, and W. They want those. So let us first uh, deal with uh, part A of the question. Now let's analyze. Okay. When solid P is heated, gas Q is produced and gas Q turns damp red litmus paper blue. So according to qualitative analysis, uh, the gas that turns damp red litmus paper blue is ammonia. So therefore, in this particular case, ammonia is produced. So gas Q, we are going to say that gas Q is ammonia. So gas Q is ammonia. So if gas Q is ammonia, what can be said about solid P? What can be said about solid P is that solid P is an ammonium salt. Solid P is an ammonium salt. So we will actually say this is an ammonium salt. So solid P is an ammonium salt. Okay, so we've just identified uh, something about solid P. We are saying solid P contains an ammonium ion. And an ammonium ion is a cation. We now need the anion part of solid P. Now, to find the anion part of solid P, we will now actually go with the dissolving of solid P in water. So when solid P is dissolved in water, meaning it's water-soluble, Solution T is formed, okay? Solution T is formed. So when solution T is reacted with aqueous silver nitrate, what is silver nitrate used for? What is silver nitrate used for? Silver nitrate is used to test for chloride ions. For chloride ions so now if you mix uh, a solution containing a chloride ion with aqueous silver nitrate what we get is silver chloride which is an insoluble salt hence it will appear as a white precipitate so automatically here we've got solution W plus a white precipitate 
So automatically, our white precipitate is silver, is silver chloride. So X is silver chloride. So X is silver chloride. Okay, so what does it tell us about solid P? It means that solid P is a chloride. Solid P is a chloride. Hence, now, I will now, uh, I will now remove the salt part and replace it with the chloride. So, this will be ammonium chloride. So solid P is ammonium chloride. And if we check, we know that all chlorides are soluble except for uh, silver chloride, lead to chloride. Uh -huh. Now, ammonium chloride, all ammonium salts are soluble. All ammonium salts are soluble. So now, we can now start our journey. In finding what W is okay so when when ammonium chloride is dissolved in water we will still have uh, aqueous ammonium chloride okay aqueous ammonium chloride now when ammonium chloride is reacted with silver nitrate what we get if this is silver chloride it means that uh, this will be ammonium nitrate therefore Solution W will be ammonium nitrate. Will be ammonium nitrate. Therefore, we have found the identities of the substances that we are asking for. So for A, for P, P is ammonium chloride. P is ammonium P is ammonium chloride P is ammonium chloride Q Q which is the gas Q is ammonia Q is ammonia And W, W is ammonium nitrate. So we have those three. So uh, P is ammonium chloride, Q is ammonia, W is ammonium nitrate oh before i forget they've told us that it is gas q so it's ammonia gas so this is ammonia gas uh-huh then we move on we move on to part b part b is saying write the balance chemical equation for the decomposition of solid p the decomposition of solid P. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh -huh. So, the decomposition of solid P, solid P which we've identified as ammonium chloride. So, when ammonium chloride undergoes thermal decomposition, it produces ammonia. There, and it produces ammonia and hydrogen chloride and hydrogen chloride so here the chemical equation is that ammonium chloride decomposes to ammonia plus hydrogen chloride so we can write that we can write that here remember it should be balanced so we are going to have uh, NH4 Cl decomposing to N 
H3 plus HCl, like that. Then we can inspect. We've got one nitrogen, one nitrogen, one chlorine, one chlorine, four hydrogens, three plus one, four hydrogen. So, so the equation at this point is already balanced. The equation is already balanced. So hence the one mark. Then we go to B2. B2. The reaction between solution T and aqueous sodium hydroxide. The reaction between solution T and aqueous sodium hydroxide. So we are here. We are at this stage. Uh -huh. So we have solution T there. Solution T plus sodium hydroxide gives us solution U, water, and gas Q. So here under gas Q, we already know that this is ammonia gas. Okay, we have H2O there. We have H2O there. Okay, then we now need to find the identity of this. So automatically, uh, this is a salt. Solution U is a water-soluble salt that will contain a sodium ion, okay, a sodium ion, and a chloride, and a chloride, because the ammonium, the ammonium part is already given in the ammonia. So this will be sodium chloride. So, in short, what we are saying is ammonium chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride plus water plus C, ammonia. So we can now write uh, this uh, in the space we've been provided with. So we have NH4Cl plus Na plus sodium hydroxide producing sodium chloride plus H2O plus N H3. Now let's just do a quick inspection to check if the equation is balanced. So we have one nitrogen, one nitrogen, one sodium, one sodium, one chlorine, one chlorine. Uh, we've got four plus one hydrogen, which is five hydrogens, and we have uh, two hydrogens plus three hydrogens, which is five. We have one oxygen and we have one oxygen. The equation is balanced. Uh -huh. So that brings us to the end of this question, which was uh, worth five marks. And which is worth five marks. And all that I can say right now is, uh, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like the video. And if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the video for us to continue providing this great content to you. Thank you very much. God bless.